Hallelujah. Amen. My Jesus was here. He's here. <laughs> Your Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. You know, you can just go like this for five hours. Then you go ten hours. And then that must become thicker. Amen. And God will heal you right there. Amen. God will solve your problems right there. Amen. It's, it's not people, it's not people praying these things. Ah, ah, ah. Are you fighting with God? No, this is how you pray. Amen. This is how you pray. Hallelujah. It's like I'm a doer. I'm a doer. I'm a doer of the word of God. So today is part two. Seeing Jesus. Part number two. Seeing Jesus. Jesus. Just just know that one yes. Seeing Jesus. Part number two. Seeing Jesus. Part two. So we are still on volume one. And I told that on volume one we are going to tackle a lot on uh, the ways of Jesus. After we are done part volume one, we are going to volume two. We are going to tackle the works of Jesus. After we are done on volume two, I'm going to talk about volume three where we're going to go the love of Jesus. Amen. By the time I finish, your life will change. Amen. I said life will change Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So John 14, John 14, 15 is our focus. John 14, 15. John 14, 15. John 14, 15. John 14, 15. Jesus said, let your eyes rest on the book. John 14, 15. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible and every red letter words of Jesus, because the Bible is the word of God. We also say the word of Jesus, but they are specifically read letters that Jesus himself spoke. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible and every read letter words of Jesus are all the commandments of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. They are all the commandments of Jesus. Amen. So Jesus tells us that the only proof that we love him is we keep his commandments. Amen. He didn't say, I know you love me when you pray 10 hours. <laughs> you can pray 10 hours and you don't love God. Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't say, I know that you love me when you fast 21 days and die there with because of foolishness. He didn't say that. Hallelujah. There was a time I fasted 21 days without food. But I was directed. <coughs> so let me just do that. Amen. I had an inspiration to do so. Amen. And when I came out of that, something happened to me. Because God wanted me to do it. Amen. So Jesus tells us, if you love him, you'll keep his commandments. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the way to keep means to receive his words. So if you keep the way, it means you received them. To keep means to receive. Also, to keep means to treasure his ways. You receive the words, you treasure the words. Hallelujah. Amen. It also means to remember the words. That means you receive them, you treasure them, and you also remember. You also remember them. Hallelujah. You also remember them. It's like a remember. So every time you receive the words, you treasure the word, you remember the words, it means we're keeping them. Hallelujah. And lastly, it means to do them. This is the last one. To do the word. Amen. So you receive the word, you treasure the word, you remember them. Do you know why you did them? Because you remember them. Hallelujah. <coughs> why people don't do the word? They don't remember the word. Hallelujah. And they don't even treasure the word. Amen. So can you see they are connected? Amen. People take their bath because they treasure bathing. Hallelujah. Amen. They don't want to stink. <laughs> People eat food because they treasure their food. Hallelujah. Amen. They don't want to go hungry and faint on the road. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
The same way, when we receive the word of God, that's what we do. When you receive the word of God, you treasure the word of God. Hallelujah. Then the word of God will set to in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And you act on it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at this. The commandment of Jesus Christ to us, the new covenant people, as new covenant people, there are, I'm going to break it into two. There are only two commandments of Jesus to us, the new covenant people. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to give you these two commandments. Number one commandment is love for God. It's so again love for God. This is the first commandment of the New Testament people. Love for God. Hallelujah. In bracket, put it, evidence T. Evidence T in loving people. Amen. If you say you love God, you will love people. Hallelujah. There's nothing like I love God and I hate people. Hallelujah. Amen. They are connected. Amen. Evidence in love for people. Amen. So when, when Jesus said, keep my commandment, he's simply saying, you will love me and you will love people. Hallelujah. That's why a pastor who loves people, I told you, I told you, is the one who teaches people the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Any pastor who doesn't teach people the truth, he doesn't love them. Amen. As he doesn't love them. Hallelujah. Amen. And if I teach you the truth, it means I love God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the evidence of the man of God who loves God. Amen. They teach people and they feed people the word of life. Hallelujah. Amen. And I see life is coming in us in the name of Jesus. As the life is coming in us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two commandment is faith in the Lord Jesus. Amen. So I told you that there are two commandments. Love for God, evidence in bracket, in love for people. Amen. Number two commandment is faith in the Lord Jesus. Amen. Faith in the Lord Jesus. Faith in the Lord Jesus in bracket. Evidence in your obedience. Amen. Evidence in your obedience. So we can simply say faith is obedience. Amen. What is faith? Obedience. <laughs> so you can't say for faith and not obedience. Where there is obedience, there is faith. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a simple definition of faith, obedience. Why am I obeying? Because I believe God. <laughs> ah, I see obeying in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see obeying in the name of Jesus. You can never say, I love God. You don't obey God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let me prove these two statements. First John 3. First John 3, 20 to 24. The Bible reveals these two commandments. First John 3, 20 to 24. First John 3, 20 to 24. The Bible reveals this uh, commandments I mentioned. Look at this. 1 John 3, 20 to 24. The Bible says, or God says, If our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart. So remember, God does not condemn people. Amen. Any preaching that condemned you never came from God. Amen. I didn't tell amen. I said, any preaching that condemned you never came from God. Hallelujah. A preaching from God come to convince you. Amen. Amen. It come to convince you, not to condemn you. Hallelujah. Amen. So he says, if our heart condemn us, what is condemning us? Our heart, not God. When you see the truth, your own heart will condemn you. That's all you're, you're not doing it. Amen. Amen. But when your heart condemn us, the Bible says, God is greater. That means don't run away. I said, don't run away. Hallelujah. Amen. That means draw closer now. Because God is greater. Uh, I said, God is greater. Amen. He's able to forgive you. Hallelujah. Amen. He's able to cleanse you. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, don't. God is greater. Amen. So don't run away from God. Amen. Come now closer. When your heart condemn you, it is time to repent. And as you repent, God is greater. And God will cleanse you. Hallelujah. Amen. And God will sanctify you. Hallelujah. Amen. It's greater. Amen. Mm. Amen. Many people, they say, I felt God. No, no, no. 
Jesus has paid it for all for you. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are willing and obedient, then God will cleanse you again. Hallelujah. Uh, I said God will cleanse you again. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a cleansing power for those who are willing and obedient. Is there? Then he, he goes on to say this. I, he knows all things. 21. Beloved, if our heart condemns us not, then have we confidence toward God. So can you see why the devil wants your heart condemned? Because he, he knows if you are condemned in heart, you cannot have boldness in the heart. You can't have confidence. And you know, we receive from God through confidence. Amen. Because faith is the substance. Or faith is the foundation. Hallelujah. Amen. Through which every miracle appears. Hallelujah. Amen. So the devil wants you out of confidence. I pray for you tonight. Your confidence is coming again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your confidence is coming again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your confidence is how you receive from God. So he says, he says this, Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then are we confidence toward God. Look at it, 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you see? A confident heart always receives. Hallelujah. Amen. A confident heart always receives. Amen. Then God to say this. Look at this. Why do you receive? We receive of him. Why? Because we keep his commandments, which he told us, and we do those things which are pleasing in his what sight. Twenty three he tells he tells us the commandment. What, what are they? And this is the commandment, his commandment. That number one, we should believe on the name of Jesus, his son. Hallelujah. So I told you the first commandment is faith in Jesus. So as long as you put faith in Jesus, you are on track. Hallelujah. You're on track and the miracles are coming. Hallelujah. Amen. And your changing is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you are in the faith, you are in the miracle zone. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you are in the faith, you are in the change zone. Hallelujah. Amen. Because faith always enters into the blessings of God. Amen. Faith always enters into the blessings of God. Amen. Then he conclude again and say, Andy, look at this. Love one another as he gave us his commandment. So in the New Testament, there are only two commandments. Love God, evidence in love of people. Faith in Jesus, evidence in obedience. Amen. So if you keep these two, Jesus concludes and say, you love him. <laughs> Hallelujah. If I love God and I love people and I believe God all the time, that is the conclusion of the matter that I love God. Hallelujah. There's no greater proof that I love God. If I'm in love, I cannot gossip someone. Hallelujah. Ay, 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 ay. If I love you, I can never insult you. Hallelujah. Amen. If I love you, I can never steal from you. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you see these things? If I've got faith in God, I can never steal from my company. Hallelujah. Amen. When people steal from their company, they don't have faith in God to provide for them. Hallelujah. Why pastors are lying miracles on the pulpit They have no faith in God to do them Hallelujah Can you see these things? Amen. Why people lie They have no faith in God Amen. Oh yes. yes Pastors don't believe God Hallelujah Amen. So they don't, they, they don't need to lie Hallelujah Because miracles are happening here in the name of Jesus Amen. They are happening in our midst in the name of Jesus Amen. It's everything Hallelujah Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. And they will happen more in the name of Jesus I said, they will happen more in the name of Jesus. Your amen is lower. I said, they will happen more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hey! Kila bala tayana masalaba. Hey! And they happen in very fast. Hallelujah! I said, they happen in very fast. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. You people are on fire tonight. I said, you are on fire tonight. Hallelujah! Hmm! Mm. Mm. Hey. Hey. So the key to receive more is to keep his commandment more. How much you want to receive from God is based 
on how much you want to obey. How much you want to love. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's deeper right there. Mm. The more you want to build people houses, the more God will put money in your pocket. Hallelujah. Amen. I, 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 I said the more you want to love people, the more God will put money in your pocket. Hallelujah. Amen. Money will come in your pocket. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? God knows you are building people houses. Amen. I said I'm building people houses. Amen. The more you want to take people to school and pay their school fees. The more God will put money in your pocket. Hallelujah. Amen. So can you see? The more you want to obey, the more you want to love, the more you receive. Amen. Amen. Ah, may you love more in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you obey more in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So actually, walking into the blessing is very simple. All you need is do whatever it tells you to do. Walking in the blessing of God is very simple. All you need is to do whatever He tells you. Amen. That's the that's the right there. Amen. I said, whatever Jesus tells you to do, if you do it, you walk in the blessing. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to fast. You don't need to scream. You don't need to say ah, ah, ah. All you need, whatever He tells you, do it. Amen. I said, whatever He tells you, do it. That's what he said in John 2 verses 5. John 2 verses 5. Mary told the servant, he said unto them, And whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. Hallelujah. This is the key to any blessing. This is the key to the entrance. The blessing is ours. We are already blessed. But the entrance in the blessing is love and obedience. Hallelujah. Uh, say love and obedience. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the entrance in the blessing. Amen. The same way, the bank account is yours. But there must be pin code. Yes. Hallelujah. 24, 25, for example. Mm. And then it will say any amount. Hallelujah. As you love God and as you obey God in faith, your password is already open. Hallelujah. Amen. You will access every blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. So, the key to experience Jesus is to keep doing whatever he tells you. Amen. I say whatever he tells you. Amen. By his word and by his Holy Spirit. Amen. By his word and by his Holy Spirit. Amen. Whatever he tells you to do, you do it. I say you do it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, I wrote it in this, in this way. When Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my commandment. He meant this. So, the words of Jesus are the words of love and the words of faith. Amen. So, the Bible is a book of love. I said the Bible is a book of love. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a book of love. And also, it's a book of what? Faith. So, the Bible is a book of love and the book of what? Faith. So, every time you are in the Bible, you are in the faith. Amen. I say you are in the faith. Amen. And every time you are in the Bible, you are in the love. Amen. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> so every time you are doing the word of God, you are walking in love. Amen. Every time you are doing the word of God, you are walking in faith. Hallelujah. Amen. And the result of that is that Jesus will become real to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I said, mm, 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 mm. Amen. He become real to you. Ah, every time Jesus talks to you, it will produce love and faith in your heart. You know Jesus is talking to you Amen. when love is produced Amen. and when faith is produced. Amen. Then you are hearing Jesus. But if you are hearing the devil, he will speak to you doubts. That's how you know Satan is talking to you. Every time the devil talks to you, it will be doubt. Every time the devil talks to you, it will be hatred. I hate them. I hate them. Then the voice talking to you is Satan. He will kill you quickly. Come out of that hate and enter up in the name of Jesus. Oh, as I enter up in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. So every time Jesus talks to you, in your 
your heart there will be love. In your heart there will be, be faith. Hallelujah. And when you act on the love and on the faith, you will experience Jesus. I say we will experience Jesus. That's what I wanted to say. Doing the word of God is the only authentic proof that you love God and that you know God. A man who knows God does the word. A man, a woman who loves God does the word. That means in the morning I do the word. In the afternoon, I do the word. In the night, I do the word. Even in the dream, I do the word. Hallelujah. <laughs> I pray for us in the name of Jesus. We receive grace through the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We receive grace through the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So I know a person who knows God by their consistency in the doing of the word. As they in the doing of the word. Now, 1 Corinthians 2.9, the Bible says it's 1 Corinthians 2.9, 1 Corinthians 2 verses 9, 1 Corinthians 2 verses 9, the Bible says, says this, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, it has never entered in the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. Wow. So can you see, there is a package for God's lovers. Mayanda sakatala mandela maya. Aya, aya, aya. I still receive your package. Hallelujah. Yeah. I still receive your package. Hallelujah. Yeah. And that package is fully loaded in the Lord Jesus. Yeah. So, so, so there is a package promised to those who love God. Mm. Now, if there is a package for those who love God, and we know. How do we know one who loves God? The one who does the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That means there is a package to do us, do us of the word of God. I, I see you receive miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you receive miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a package to do us of the word. Amen. There is no way you can do the word of God and you remain a failure. Amen. There is no way you can do the word of God and remain sick. There is no way you can do the word of God and remain broke. Hallelujah. There is no way you can do the word of God and remain confused. Hallelujah. I pray for you. You will do the word in the name of Jesus. I say you will do the word in the name of Jesus. You don't need to climb mountains. Just do the word. And just do the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, those who love Jesus, he has prepared something for them that their eyes hasn't yet seen, their ears hasn't yet heard, their mind hasn't yet conceived. That means those who do the word of God, their eyes will see something. Hallelujah! I say your eyes will see something. Hallelujah! That's why don't even try to intimidate yourself. Because if you do, your eyes will see it. I say your eyes will see it. In the name of Jesus, there is no way you do and your eyes are in seat. Uh -uh. That's what David said. I would have fainted. Except I would have believed to see the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. I prophesy over you. You won't die and see in heaven the blessing. Hallelujah. You will see the blessing on the earth. Hallelujah. I said you will see the blessing on the earth. In the land of the living. In the land of the living. Not in the land of the dead. Anyone that they will plan for you to die, I cancel that in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I cancel that in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Was a cancellation of that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's hallelujah. Yeah. Ay, 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 by next week, we are going to touch these three letters. We are going to break down the book of John. We will break it from chapter 1 to 21. Very powerful. So we just break in John. Just, just breaking the bread in John. Yeah. <laughs> I said breaking the bread in John. Because in John, there is so much weight of Jesus. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. John 14, look at this. Let your eyes rest on the book. Because potato gives you energy by eating. 
not by smelling potato. So you need to eat as you are eating. looking at it, you are eating. Amen. And tonight I must eat potato in the name of Jesus. Amen. John 14, 21, 23. John 14, 21, 23. Look at what Jesus said. He that has my commandments and keep them or does them, he it is that loves me. Wow. Then he says this. And he that loves me shall be loved. Now today I saw a revelation. Jesus said, the one who has my commandment, it is he that loves and keep. The word keep means what? Do. He says, he's the one who loves me. And we know the one who does the word loves him. Then he says, ah, my father will love him. What does that mean? It means my father will do things to him. Ah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And changing you. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. As we are beholding in the glass, we are beholding in a mirror, we are being changed yeah. in that image from glory to glory by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yeah. So every time you are doing the word of God, also the word of God is doing you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ah, other people they say, Hey woman, you've changed. Hallelujah. You told them, I've changed, I've changed, because I'm doing the word. I said, because I'm doing a word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you, you look in 30 when you're 70. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of the word you are doing in the name of Jesus. Amen. So much strength will come into you. Amen. You know, there are people who look like they're 60 when they're 35. No, 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 no. As you do the word of God, it will, it will renew your strength. Hallelujah. Amen. Like the eagles in the name of Jesus. Amen. He says, if you if you love me, you keep my commandment. Mm -hmm. My father will love you. Hello? Yes. And it will manifest. Mm -hmm. Can you see this? Will manifest myself. Yes. Mm. I don't want to see Jesus. <laughs> yeah. He give us the formula for him to manifest to us. He said, don't climb the mountain. Don't go and sleep on the mountain for three days. Sleeping on the mountain for three days doesn't make Jesus manifest to you. He says, all you need to do is understand my words and do my words, and I'll begin to show myself to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you see your Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And there's no way you can see Jesus and remain the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Your life has to change totally. Amen. Your ways have to change totally. Amen. Your thinking has to change totally. Amen. Your believing has to change totally. Hallelujah. Amen. And your behavior has to change. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't encounter him and remain proud. Amen. Some people, they say, we are poor and proud. Both conditions are evil. Amen. God will deliver from all of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Poverty is evil, pride is evil, be delivered. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yes. Thank you. He said we are proud and we are poor and proud. Ah, both conditions are what? Evil. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. I say, eh. Amen. I say, eh. Amen. 22. Judah said unto him. Judah said unto him. He said this. No, not a scarlet. Oh Lord, how is it that you are going to manifest yourself to us and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto them, unto him, If a man loves me, he will keep my words. Hello? And my father will love him. That means my father will do things for him. Hallelujah. And will come unto him and make our abode. That's deeper. I saw clearly doing the word of God ushers you in the in the cover of his presence. Hey, hey, doing the word, Deacon, ushers you in the cover of his presence. That's why in the book of Psalms 91, verse 4, he says, I will trust in his word. He says, his truth shall be a shield. Can you say that? Unto me. That means the, the more you do the word of God, the more you walk in the coverage of his presence. Hallelujah. And that presence goes with you at work. That presence goes with you at school. Hallelujah. That presence goes with you wherever you go in the road. Hallelujah. When armed robbers want to eat people, when they come near you, something to pull them out. Hallelujah. The presence of God. Hallelujah. The presence of God. There was one time I was coming from the office there in Windsor. 
And it was in the night as well, almost 23, I was playing in Lords. When I was going with my laptop back, three men stood in front of me. And in my spirit, I knew that I should just lay down like this. When I did this, they ran away. I don't know what they saw. Maybe they saw something strange. God turned me into something. But I just knew in my spirit, just, just go down like this. I went like this. All of them, they ran away. Yeah. Why? The presence of the Lord changed me. Hallelujah. Yeah. I, I pray for you. The presence of God is changing. Hallelujah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. The presence of God is changing me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's hallelujah. Yeah. When you do the word, the word does something to you. <laughs> the word of God does something to your mind. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you are the mind of poverty, the mind of prosperity comes, hallelujah. Amen. If you are the mind of sickness, the mind of healing comes, hallelujah. Amen. If you are the mind of failure, the mind of success comes, hallelujah. Amen. The word of God does something to your mind, hallelujah. Amen. It changes your mind. Amen. Changes your mind. Amen. And also the word of God changes also your actions. Amen. Since I've been preaching about, uh, I think I've been preaching about no more buying, no more putting food in, uh, is it margarine? I don't see it anymore. People now go to those posts. Do you know what I'm about? Because majority just bad. <laughs> and people have changed. Do you know the whole of God is changing? Hallelujah. Amen. No more see Majarin poor as a as a poor. No, 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 no. It's a poverty mentality. It is dying in us. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's a pastor. Pastor can talk. <laughs> we have changed, huh? Some of us, we used, to, we used to leave the place. Because the evangelist on Sunday, she brought me a nice bowl. I said, evangelist, thank you, Jesus. He said, the word of God is entering us. Hallelujah. Amen. And she told me, Pastor, keep it. Amen. I said, I'm this, the word of God has to change us. Amen. Hello. Amen. Your talking will change. Hallelujah. Amen. How you talk will change. Amen. You're all the time talking. I'm broke. I'm broke. This time around, you say, God will, God will provide. Hallelujah. Yeah. God will provide. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are coming out. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's the language now. The word of God will change you. Yes. It will change you. Yes. I say, it will change you. Yes. I say, it will change you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let me begin to close with this now. Look at this. Did you know that? The word of God is the light of God. Mm -hmm. That's the prayer. Mm -hmm. mm. This light we see here in this building came from the word. And the word of God is light. Mm -hmm. yeah. And every time you are applying the word, you are walking in the light. Yeah. 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 I say you are walking in the light. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, there is no way you can walk. And as you are walking in the light, there is something happening to you. God is touching you. And you're also touching God. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a supernatural, you know, rubbing off of each other. Aya, aya, aya. I see you rub God. Hallelujah. Amen. You're already rubbing God as you're walking in the world, in the light. God is touching you. And God is changing you. Hallelujah. Without even you understanding, Amen. but there's a changing happening. Amen. The changing happening. Look at First John five. You're going to see what I was talking about. First John one, verses five and seven. First John one, five to seven. First John one, five to seven. This then is the message we have heard of Him, and declare unto you that God is light. And in him there's no darkness. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I said in God there's no darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why this Sunday I'm going to preach to you the fatherhood of God. Amen. I'm, I'm going to show us some light that has made me. I was screaming my room. Yay! When, when you see light, it makes you crazy for lack of weight. It makes you crazy. You, 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 you want to you wanna just walk into it. You see how God will provide for you. You see how God will use you. You see how God is going to make you a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. The revelation of the word of God has got effect on your heart. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie 
and do not the truth. So he says, if you are still sick, you are remaining sick all the days of your life. He says, it means I'm not doing the light. Amen. Amen. Because why are you walking in darkness? Is there something you're not doing? If you remain broke all your days, it means you're not doing light. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when someone asks you, why are things tough? It's now eight years. Tell them, walk in the light. I said, walk in the light. Some of you, one of the lights can just be tied. It's a light that allow you to tap in the blessing of finances. As you can see already all over the world, there's a debate on tithing. You know what? The devil is behind it. Amen. Every time you see a debate on a subject, Amen. Satan is behind it. Amen. He knows the power of it. And one of one of one other debate is praying in tongues. Amen. They say it's of the devil. People are preaching that way because praying in tongues is the door into the world of the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. And the devil doesn't want to enter the supernatural. So he's preaching against praying tongues. So every time you see discussion about the subject, Satan has the power of it. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 7, he says this. But if you walk in the light, as he is in the light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where is God? In the light. Where is God? In the light. That means in the word. Where is God? In the word. People are saying, I want to see God. Open the book. Yeah. I, I say, I say, open the book. Yeah. People are going to the mountain to see God. Ah, you've got book. You've got God in the book. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said, God is in the book. Many people, God is in the book and their book is full of dust and cockroaches. Yeah. Cockroaches in the book where God is. Yeah. And now they are, they, are, they, are, they are flying to India to go and meet a prophet. Yeah. Or they are flying to Ghana to go and see a prophet. But can you see when God is in the book? Yeah. I said, when God is in the book, after when God is in the book, Amen. every time you open this book and you read from Genesis to Revelation, you are reading God. Amen. I said, You are reading God. Amen. And God will begin to talk to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, God will begin to talk to you. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I read your book. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you will walk in the light as He is in the light, Amen. God is not in America. Amen. God is in the book and in your heart. Hallelujah. Uh, I said, God is not in America. God is in the book and God is in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. You are having God in your house. Amen. And you are going to the mountain to see God. What an ignorance. Amen. Let's go to the bush to see God. No, God is in the book. Amen. I said, God is in the book. Amen. If you say, I'm going to the bush for quiet time, no problem. Not to see God there. He's not in the bush. As he's in the light. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, open your book. Read your book. Amen. I said, read your Deuteronomy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm also reading the book of Matthew. Now, now myself, I'm in the book of Matthew. I'm reading Matthew now. I'm reading Deuteronomy also Matthew. Amen. Deuteronomy is for us. Me, I'm in Matthew. I'm consuming Matthew. Amen. I'm looking at God in Matthew. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every time you open John, you are looking God in John. Hallelujah! Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. The book is nice. Amen. I said, the book is nice. Amen. The book will change your marriage. Hallelujah! Amen. The book will change your children. Hallelujah! Amen. The book will change your life. Hallelujah! Amen. Because God and His Word are one. Amen. People, ah, if you can listen to this and do, remember I said do. I said do. The this is due. So after here, you must go and open the book. Amen. Before you go to bed, read, read, read one chapter. Amen. No matter how tired you are, even three verses, just consume them. Hallelujah. Amen. Then go to bed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have noticed the day I began to read the Bible before I go to bed, I never dream bad dreams anymore. Amen. Oh, oh, I said, you, every time you're dreaming that just in you, something's wrong. Go in the book. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, go in the book. Hallelujah. Read the book and read the book and go to bed. You are not going to dream my dreams. Hallelujah. Amen. You have entered light. Amen. You have entered light. Amen. Everyone says, I don't remember me dreaming being chased. Uh -uh. Every time I dream, I beat them. Then they come. I beat. Amen. 
Every time they come, you know, me, I beat them. All the time is the tribe. The team of the tribe. I beat them all the time. Why? I'm in the light. You're also in the light. In the name of Jesus. Now I'm closing with this. Then I close up. Let me finish at 40. The problem that we have is this. Many, they hear, but they don't do. This is a big problem. That's what, that's what I want to close with. I'm okay, I'm happy. As you receive joy through the word. But did you know that just after you leave that door, Satan will come to steal it quickly. Oh, oh, you receive a call, a bad call. <laughs> he wants you to forget what you just got in. Because he knows if you apply these things, your life will change. Amen. I say your life will change. Amen. Many people, they hear, but they don't do. Amen. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Pastor Stan is a good preacher. That's good. He's a good teacher. Do you do the teaching? If only you did just 15% of what I taught, your life will change. Amen. I said your life will change. Amen. There is no way you can do the way that's coming here in front. Amen. All the time. Hallelujah. Amen. And you don't change. Amen. Something must be wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. Many are hearing. Some they say, I've got notes. How many notes? He says, I've got uh, 70 books. I've written all of them by Pastor Stan. It's not writing the notes. Good. But what have you done in that notes? What have you done in that notes? Amen. Even myself, I go back to the notes I've written. Amen. I go and read back. Amen. That's why after this teaching, you must go home and listen again to the teaching. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? First, can be solidified in your heart. Amen. Because the devil wants you to procrastinate the word. Amen. And when the word you procrastinate, today is Wednesday, next week to be Sunday. And the word of Wednesday didn't do it. Now you're on the word of what? Sunday. Sunday only now you're on the word again on Wednesday. So can you see you're piling up and every and you go five years. You go somewhere, maybe on radio. You hear the teaching that I taught five years ago. I said, I know that. I know that. But what did you do with it? Amen. Not I know that. Amen. It's not the word you know that changes you. It's the word you know you know and do. Hallelujah. The word you know and do changes you. Amen. One verse. Ezekiel 33. Ezekiel 33. Lamentation Ezekiel. Jeremiah Lamentation Ezekiel. Ezekiel 33, 30 and 32. Ezekiel 33, 30 to 32. The Bible says this. Look at this. Hallelujah. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you, Jesus. And this, can you tell Joy? I prayed for it. it so it's done already. It's sealed. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this. 33, 30. 32. Look at this. Also, you, son of man, the children of your people still are talking against you by the walls and in the doors of the houses. And they speak one to another, one of his brothers saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that comes forth from the Lord. Like many of you are saying, Come to a church. There's a pastor who preach good. That's what, that's what they also say. Say, Come and hear the word that comes forth from the Lord. They're inviting one another. Now look at this. And they came unto you as the people come, and they see before you as my people. They're like that, like the way you sat. And they hear your words, but they will not do them. Ah. So people are inviting one another, but they hear the word and they say excited, powerful, but they don't do them. Do you know why people are not doing the word? Because people are approaching the word of God or service of teaching as entertainment. You know, in the entertainment, there's nothing you get to change. Amen. You just watch and hear to be excited. Amen. Amen. As the people say, that's a good movie. Put another one. Uh. There's nothing, you are not, there is no intention uh. of getting to change. Amen. 
<laughs> That's deep right there. So every time you come here, approach services with, what can I get today Amen. for me to apply? Amen. Amen. Just one word is enough for the entire service. There is something that will stand up for you in the service of tonight. And when you see that, you say, that is me. And you take it personal. Because every time you come in the service, there must be this question. What, Lord, what do you want me to get today? Amen. And when I get it, look at this. These are the questions you are going to ask yourself. What should I stop doing after hearing this teaching? Or what should I start doing? Or what should I increase in doing? Maybe you're not reading more of the world. So I say tonight I need to start reading more. So already it means today you have, you have cut something. And as you go home, implement already immediately. Then you start changing. Look at now, 32. And lo, you unto them. As a very lovely song of one that had a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument like Pastor Stan preaches well. For they hear your words, but they do them not. Can you see? It says you are preaching like an instrument that's playing well. They hear it, they're excited, but they don't do them. I pray for you. As we go on this journey of the words of Jesus. We are going to observe <coughs> these red letters, sweet red letters. In this journey, we are going to go on red letter expedition. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to look into every word of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And tonight, we are not yet begun. And as we begin to look words after words of the Lord Jesus, red letters, after so next week by the grace of God, I'm taking the book of John, and you are going to be asking three questions. Question number one: Who said these words? Many people they just read the Bible weekly. No, don't read quickly the book Bible. This is life, oh. Don't read like reading the newspaper. Hey, hey. this is not this is not newspaper. This is not novel. This is life. Amen. I said this is life. Amen. I said this is life. Amen. That's how when I'm reading this book, I can take. One hour, one chapter. Sometimes three hours. I'm just consuming there. I'm eating. Because it's life. You know, you know, you're even going to feel something has changed. After, after reading the word of God from that life perspective. So you are going to ask the question. Who said these words? Who said this way? Number two. Do I really understand them? Do I really understand them? That's number two. Number three. What can I do? With these words. Amen. So through this series, this question must be in you. Who said these words? Everybody do like this. Oh, I love the word of Jesus. Oh, Say loud. Oh, I love the words of Jesus. Oh, Say again. Oh, I love the words of Jesus. Stand up on the feet. So we are going to go on the red letter expedition properties. Yes. Then we are going to break the book of John in two pieces. It will be awesome in the name of Jesus. Well, we want to partake the communion. Turn to buy an offering if you have.